Here's the field for the uh, sixth race. Sixth race, the second division, fourth leg of the Millen Acres Facing Series. Two-year-old fillies racing one mile, purse of $3,000, field of eight. Number one is Noble Misty, owned by James Vest of London Earl Artist, the trainer, Dean Gillespie Drives. The two states and Stevie, owned by Earl Ingle of Bellbrook, Tom Horner Jr. trains, Randy Tharps driving. Number three, Lux Sinja, owned by Jack Swangler of Lebanon, Kevin Brown, the trainer for Mike Wilder. Four, you betcha, I beat you, owned by Jim Cunningham. In our little stable of Washington Courthouse, Delvin Criswell trains, Brad Hanner is up. The five, bam, she's out, owned by Charles Park of Xenia, Ron Wallace trains, Dell Miller drives. Six flower cart owned by Chip Noble, Ralph Conley Jr., and J.D. Burnett, along with Jim Sprav, Ohio and Kentucky. Chip Noble, the trainer driver. Seven clambered hag owned by Augie Blevins of Springfield. Alan Regal trains Donner Van Jr. Up. And from post eight, Carol G., owned by Jack Ader of Clarksburg. Dan Ader, the trainer and uh, driver. Win play show perfected trifecta wagering sixth race trophy by the American Legion Post 614. Second division, Millen Acres facing a series in behind the gate. They're on the back stretch and approaching the start. And uh, the ball off and Carol G. Time of the gate perfectly from the outside as she rockets to the front end. Stays in Stevie getting away second for the garden spot trip and angling in quickly third. It's Lux Sinja. Early fourth, flower carted at the rail and five. You betcha, I beat you. Off the rail, sixth came Noble Misty. Between horses, seventh, bam, she's out. And Clybert Hag is the early trailer, eighth. As they round the first turn, it's Carol G. As expected on the front here, has a lead by two. On the inside and racing a second, Stason Stevie, the opening quarter in 28 and three. And they're in straight alignment as they come past us for the first time. At the rail in third, looks and two lengths in fourth, the flower cart. And now coming first up on the outside, it's Noble Misty. At the rail, you betcha, I betcha. Bam, she's out. To the outer flow is racing a seventh. And of the trailer is Clabbered Hag as they race into the clubhouse turn. It's Carol G, the two to one shot with a lead here. She leads by a length. States and Stevie on the inside is second of the half in 59 and to four. As they swing to the back stretch, Carol G looking to three peach here in Ohio has a lead and she's led the entire way. On the inside, Stace and Stevie, a perfect trip. Noble Misty to the outside. Bam, she's out. Now sprinting quickly on the outside, and she has explosive speed. And she uses that here as she moves quickly up alongside the leader. Bam, she's out. She is right there. And right behind her is Clabbered Hag, who's also showing some life tonight. Three quarters, 129 and two. Around the final turn. Bam, she's out of the outside. At the rail, it's Clabbered Hag. Stace and Stevie coming out there. And to the outside, Clabbered Hag. She jumps it off and goes off stride. Now lusts in an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come, and bam, she's out, is still there. The leader by a half, make that a length, and on the outside, Stace and Stevie is coming quickly as they drive into deep stretch. Bam, she's out, Stace and Stevie, one final surge, and that's enough. It's Stace and Stevie over Bam, she's out, and Flower Cart. Track side, the winner, number two, Stace and Stevie. A, an Ohio bred daughter of Tavern Lobel from the Columbia George Mayor Patsy Hanover. By Earl Engel of Bellbrook, Ohio, Tom Horner Jr. trains Randy Tharps in the Sulky. Stace and Stevie recording her second career win in four starts. That a mark for her, 158 and a two fouls. The uh, sixth race trophy by American Legion Post, 614.